Hello Leo, so this is the reading that I got for you guys for the first two weeks of December, okay, what's going on in your love life. So I'm going to start with the Romance Angel first, and then I'm going to do the Tarot. Alright, Universe, give me a four card spread. What's going on with Leo's love life for December 3rd, 15, 2020? So I got Give Your Relationship a Chance, okay, so someone wants to um, connect with you still, okay. Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Leo's love life for December the 3rd to the 15th, 2020? Give me three more cards. I got religious factors. Yeah, someone want to connect with you because they feel like you are their soulmate, that you are their divine feminine or masculine or divine twin flame, okay? Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Leo's love life for December? True love, yeah. They feel like you are their person. They want you to keep on working and fighting for this connection. The universe, give me one more card. What's going on with Leo's? They're attracted to you as well. The universe, what's going on with Leo's love life for December the 3rd to the 15th? 2020. Universe. Universe. Give me one more card. What's going on with attraction yeah it when it came out <laughs> so yeah they're very much attracted to you okay like moth to fire like they're very much attracted to you they do believe you are their true soulmate um they want you to continue to fight for this co connection okay um this person could be an earth sign or a fire sign so a towards Virgo, capricorn and aries Leo, sagittarius okay i also got pisces okay um then i got forgiving and learning so yeah this person want you to forgive them The universe, give me a five-card spread. What's going on with Leo's love life? December the 3rd to the 15th, 2020. Universe, six of swords, universe. Yeah, they're coming back to you. They're stuck on you. They're stuck on you, okay? I got air here, okay? So they are going to communicate that to you. Universe, give me four my cards. What's going on with Leo's love life? December the 3rd to the 15th, 2020. Universe, give me, universe, give me four more cards. What's going on with Leo's love life? So I got the Page of Pentacles universe. So yeah, you guys are going to turn down their apology because you realize, you probably realize this person is just not for you, but they feel like you are the one for them, okay? Universe, give me three more cards. Universe, give me three more cards. What's going on with Leo's love life? December the 3rd to the 15th, 2020. Yeah, I got Ace of Cups, and I got the Eight of Cups in reverse. So you probably have two people that's coming back into your life. Um, you got a new person, a new connection, and then you got somebody who wants to come back. Now, this could be a newer connection, and it was a disagreement, something like that, and they still want they still want to invest in this connection. They want you to continue to invest in it, okay? Universe, give me two my cards. What's going on with Leo's love life? December the 3rd to the 15th, 2020. Universe, give me two more cards. The Infants in the verse. Yeah, but this is somebody that you felt didn't respect you. You probably felt, you know, they didn't deserve your love, basically. Okay? And I feel like a lot of you guys are just not going to accept them. Okay? Um, especially if they're not going to come correct. Okay? So even if they do come back or even if they apologize, if you don't see no action of change... You're probably not going to entertain it. Universe, give me one card. What's going on with Leo's Love Life, December 3rd to the 15th? To the 15th, 2020. Universe, give me one more card. What's going on with Leo's Love Life, December 3rd to the 15th, 2020. Yeah, so I do believe they are stressed about you. Um, but probably you not too stressed about them, okay? Um, so I do get anxious, worry. Yeah, they're going to communicate to you. Yeah, they're rushing in. They're rushing in to fix things with you, and they want you to give them a chance because they believe that you are their true soulmate. But I feel like all you guys are just tired of it. Um, you're not going to entertain that. Okay, so Universe Clarify Nine of Swords. 
universe clarify nine of swords okay so i got the moon in reverse so they are going to express their feelings towards you universe clarify the moon in reverse yeah they are gonna try to like they're gonna try to apologize different ways okay apologizing through words apologizing through gifts you know they're gonna try to figure out a way so you can still be in their life okay universe clarify ace of pentacles universe clarify ace of pentacles three of swords yeah but for some reason you guys don't trust them okay this is somebody who probably hurt you before and you just don't want to entertain that okay or this person give you red signs or red flags i mean and you just don't want to be hurt okay so it's like you choose to just like not entertain that connection anymore okay universe clarify the ace of cups and the eight of cups in reverse universe clarify the ace of cups eight of cups in reverse universe clarify the ace of cups and eight of cups in reverse the hierophant yeah so now they want to come back offering something stable to you universe clarify the hierophant yeah because they've been watching you and seeing what you've been doing okay so yeah i feel like this is two two people it's not only one so you got two people who want you um one past person one person that you're connecting with you maybe had you probably not in the best predicament with either or okay like a newer connection like you just seen the red flags and you just don't want to entertain it they still want to build with you now with the past they seeing that you have like you know either move on with a newer person and it's like they want to interrupt that Okay, um, some of them kind of know that you're going through stuff with your newer connection as well, and they try to see they they seeing this as the perfect opportunity for them to come back. But to be honest, I really don't feel like you can give the past any chance. To be honest, um, the newer one, you probably not gonna give them a chance to. But the past, I feel like you're really not gonna give the past a chance. Okay, universe, clarify the inference in reverse. Universe, clarify the inference in reverse. Universe, clarify the inference in reverse. The four swords, yeah. You are going to, yeah, take a break from them. Universe, clarify the four swords. Universe, clarify the four swords. Universe, clarify the four of swords. Universe, clarify the four of swords. Universe, clarify the four of swords. Yeah, so you are going to take a break from them, okay? Because, again, you want things to move forward in your life. You want things to progress. You want healthy connections, positive connection, nothing that is just a hot mess, okay? They are coming back, but I feel like a lot of you guys are going to reserve your energy. You're not going to even entertain it. You stop giving to the situation, okay? Universe, clarify nine of swords. Page of cups, the fool in reverse, and the five of cups in reverse. Yeah, because I feel like, yeah, this is, yeah, it's giving me two... It's giving me two stories. Um, the same story, I mean, but they give me two different people. You got a past person that you're over. Like you're not you don't care about them, you know, you're you wish them the best. But this person is not is not over you, okay? Um, they wanna offer something, okay? Now, at the same time, you're dealing with a newer connection and this person is stressing, like you probably don't want them anymore. Okay, like you don't wanna initiate anymore with them. Universe, clarify the page of pentacles in reverse. Universe, clarify the page of pentacles in reverse. So, I got ace swords. Yeah, they are going to try to apologize, try to break the ice, communicate. Both of them, a new or a past. Universe, clarify the ace of swords. Two of wands. Yeah, they are going to communicate. This person could be a Virgo strongly. Okay, universe, clarify the six of swords in reverse. Universe, okay. So... Seven of Pentacles and Ten Swords in reverse. Yeah, they took a long time for them to come back. <laughs> they took a long time for them to come back. Um, it probably was seven months. You have broken up with them. Okay. It could be seven weeks. It could be ten months, ten weeks, six weeks. Okay. Um, but they're coming back, um, you know, to see if they can still be in your life. But I feel like a lot of you guys are avoiding them. And you're probably avoiding the other person as well, okay? So, the people that you might be dealing with, I got, like, almost every sign. Um, but I got strong earth. So, towards Virgo Capricorn, okay? Yeah, it's particularly Virgo energy. I want 
gonna start with this first. So, universe, give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for Leo's first thing to the love life? December the third to fifteen. Okay, so I got a balsamic bals moon, a time for healing. Okay, so yeah, the universe is asking you to heal whatever issues that you need to heal from. Some of you guys are still battling with that, and you need to heal from that. Okay, because that's gonna help you um, improve in your intuition improve and trust in yourself too okay so probably you guys have a tendency of trying to give people chances after chances but your your intuition already told you no but you still trying to you know give the person's chance the universe is trying to say definitely clear that energy away heal your heart and so you could trust your intuition more okay universe giving two more cards so i got blue moon believe in the impossible personal issue reaches resolution of full moon in cancer yeah so i feel like this is with the past cancer rule is like past energy um attachment energy so i definitely feel like um the past is wanting to communicate with you but i feel like you are going to release that release release them out your life and 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 energetically too some of you guys may communicate say that you know you wish them the best but you don't want to entertain them like that universe give me one more card so, I got a lot of cards. So, I got full moon and Gemini. The answers you need are coming. Some of you guys was waiting for this moment to um, receive that real closure. Um, and it's happening now. And then I got full moon and Pisces, balance, spirituality, and practicality. So, the universe is wanting you to ground yourself, okay? Don't get overly emotional, okay? And then I got full moon, surrender to the divine. So, yeah, the universe is asking you to release whatever type of energy that was just holding you back, okay? And then my favorite card, I got full moon eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. So there is going to be a Sagittarius, um, I think, solar eclipse, I believe. Um, so definitely there is going to be some form of clear energy, okay? Sagittarius is about letting go, <laughs> okay? And it's, so I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be letting go of old issues, old people, old past situations. You're just going to be letting it go, okay? So, universe, give me a four card spread. What messages do you have for Leo's pertaining to their love life? December the 3rd to the 15th, 2020. Right. So, I got stab in the back. I got sword and the rose and axe. Okay. So, heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Yeah. So, this is somebody who was trying to harm you. Okay. Emotionally harm you. Um, sword and rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. And then I also got acts, break up, separation, stop the pattern. Yep. Silent treatment and abandonment. So yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are not trying to repeat certain behaviors. Um, so any red flags that you're getting from either or past or new, you're just going to just not entertain it at all because you're not trying to repeat history or trying to repeat a certain cycle in your life. Universe, give me three more cards. What messages do you have for Leo's pertaining to their love life? So I got dates. Yeah, I feel like you guys are going to be open with love. You're not going to be like, oh my gosh, love is so horrible. Like, I don't feel like you guys are going to do that. I feel like you are going to be bold and know that, you know, everybody's different. Okay. So meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan a send date. Okay. So that's good. I feel like there is maturity because a lot of people, when they hurt, they like F love, you know, Blah, 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 blah. You know, they be on that type of emo stuff, right? But I feel like a lot of you guys have matured and you guys are not doing that, okay? Especially fixed signs. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. Like, you know, when we in our fields, we be in our fields. And we tend to, like, be in hermit mode or whatever. But I feel like a lot of you guys have matured and you realize when you do that and you're not progressing, you are stagnant. So I feel like you guys are not doing, you're not doing stuff that you used to do in the past, okay? Universe, give me... Two more cards. What messages do you have for Leo's pertaining to their love life? Okay, so I got the Grim Reaper. Okay, the relationship is over. No ch second chances. Grow and transform your life. Yep, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like something is done. And I feel like you guys are going to release that. Okay, um, release it energetically or release it physically. Universe, give me one more card. What messages do you have for Leo's pertaining to their love life? So I got Love Call. 
So when you release that energy, they may try to come back, okay? Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of you guys are just not going to entertain it. And then I got karmic relationship. Yeah, because you're not trying to deal with a karmic situation. Because I feel like a lot of you guys have mastered the karma. You And now you're releasing it. But this person probably still haven't mastered it yet. And that's why they're still coming back. Um, even a certain lesson. Like, it doesn't necessarily need to be an old person. It could be just a similar lesson from a new connection. And it's resurfacing again. And the universe is asking you to release that energy okay so you don't attract these people over and over and over again even though these are new people okay so with karmic relationship i got fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving and loving you okay so universe is definitely asking you to release any type of energy like that okay that's just not um serving you Okay, universe, give me four cards, bud. What messages do you have for Leos pertaining to their love life? Okay, so I got universe. <laughs> so the universe is asking you to connect with the universe, okay? And that's 21, so that's three. So yeah, this is about Trinity. So connecting your mind, body, and spirit, okay? Within your own self, connected to the source, okay? Universe, give me, give me my cards. What messages do you have for Leos? All right, so I got trumpet success. So yeah, I feel like once you release and let go, because we do have the sword, the sword's about cutting stuff out of your life, things are going to become more successful for you guys, okay? Universe, give me two more cards. What messages do you have for Leo's pertaining to me that way? So I got uh, financial material changes. Yeah, so I feel like things are definitely going to change in your life, okay? Um, and it's going to be for the better. It's going to be more successful, okay? Universe, give me one more card. That's a pretty card. Let's see what this is about. I got fulfillment of wishes. Ooh, yeah. So you are going to receive what is yours. That, are, that it's going to be abundant. That it's going to be aligned to your life path. That's going to make you a much better person. Okay? But you have to have that strength to not tolerate BS. To not give people chances after chances. Okay? It's about, it's about transformation. So the universe is trying to say you can have this. But you got to cut off all any type of messed up energy. Okay? A person, a thing, or thoughts. You got to remove that out of your mind, okay? At the bottom of the deck, I got awareness. Yeah, so the universe is, ask, is asking you to be more conscious with how you think, okay? This one will come out too. Trap and fear. Yeah, the universe is trying to say, don't be, don't be afraid of, you know, what you really want. It's going to happen, but don't be afraid that, you know, you're not going to actually have that okay the universe is wanting you to have like a positive mind okay so you can track better hey universe give me a four card spread what messages do you have for leo's pertaining to the love life okay so not the right time so some of you guys want to start something, but it's probably not the right time. Universe, give me through my cards. Okay. Big happy changes. So Taurus got that too. So some of you guys are going to be dealing with the Taurus. So with big happy changes, things are going to be changing for the better. Universe, give me two more cards. Don't stop. The universe is trying to say keep on moving forward. You're on the right path. Okay. Don't don't let letdowns um, make you feel like you need to stop. Universe, give me one more card. And I got, listen to your intuition. So yeah, the universe is wanting you to trust your intuition. Listen to it. Um, don't run away from it, okay? And I got, the situation will improve. Yeah, things will get better, okay? So universe, give me a two card spread for Leo's for December. So I got service as co-creation. Yeah. So towards have this too. Uh, my service, no matter how great or small, is a conscious act of co-creation with the world. So yeah, the universe is trying to say you are important. Whatever you do, it's going to help with the universe. Okay. So the universe is trying to say don't think of you as small. You are a huge person. You're very important. Okay. 
universe okay so I got the unknown. Yeah, like a lot of you guys don't know what the future hold, but the universe trying to say, don't be fearful of that. Continue to move forward with your progress. Okay. Appreciate your progression. See how you had transformed for the better person from yesterday, from last week, from a month, from a month ago, from a year ago. Okay. Then I got, I bow to the infinite intelligence of the cosmos and my next steps are revealed. Yeah. So the universe is trying to say, go with the flow. Don't go against the current. Okay. And then I got the time of fallow, okay? So while you're moving forward, always make sure that you put yourself first as well and take time to attend to your needs um, and pay attention to signs as well. Not only red flags from others, but universal signs that the, the universe is trying to speak to you, okay? This could be through um, messages, um, angel numbers. This could be like people just saying some wisdom to you and you never catch on to that until now. Um, it could be dreams as well, okay? Creative manifestation occurs more easily when I have nurtured myself and honored my time of fallow. So yeah, the universe is trying to say definitely take some time for yourself as well while you're moving forward, but don't be stuck, okay? So that's the energy that I got for you guys, okay? And the reading, okay? Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at queenforthetarot at gmail.com.